Hey guys, Greg with BTOD TV and BTOD.com. In today's weight capacity comparison, we are going to be comparing two of our very own products, the VertDesk V3 Standard with a capacity of 275 pounds, and our newest product, the VertDesk V3 Plus, with, which comes with a capacity of 450 pounds. Now, if you've watched any of these comparisons in the past, you know we look at four specific different weights that we'll be testing. The first is 100, next is 200, then we'll be maxing out the VertDesk V3 standard, and then lastly, we will be maxing out the VertDesk V3 Plus. With that, let's go ahead and get started with the test. Before we go ahead and jump into the test, I wanna talk about our setup. So the first test is a 100 pound test. You can see behind me, I do have two cinder blocks plus a five pound dumbbell and the weight of the work surface. So this will be our first setup. What you would like to look for during this process is how the desk moves. We set these desks up at a sitting height and we move them to the same standing height. So you'll wanna watch and see how each desk performs with the various weights. So with that, let's go ahead and get started on the first test of 100 pounds. For the second test, we've got the desk set up with 200 pounds. This is a configuration of six cinder blocks plus the weight of each work surface. For our third test, we will be reaching our first max capacity, and that will be for the VertDesk V3 standard. And if you remember, that does come with a capacity of 275 pounds. So the configuration in the back now is nine cinder blocks plus the weight of the work surface to give us approximately 275 pounds. For our fourth and final test, we will be maxing out the VertDesk V3 Plus. This has a max capacity of 450 pounds. So this configuration includes 15 center blocks plus the three small dumbbells and the weight of the work surface. We've also loaded up the VertDesk V3 standard with the same amount of weight, but because of the overload protection, you'll see it will actually trigger an FO6 error on the control panel. This means that you've overloaded your desk and there will be a one minute period where you'll have to wait for it to reset. You wanna obviously take the weight that's overloading the desk off so that you can resume normal operation if you own this desk. With that, let's go ahead and get started with the final test. After the four tests for the weight capacity on the VertDesk V3 and the VertDesk V3 Plus, you can see there were definite differences between these two desks. Now the VertDesk V3 standard runs at a much quicker speed of one and a half inches per second, and this is because it does have a lighter load capacity, whereas the VertDesk V3 Plus runs at about an inch and a quarter, but both desks were very consistent throughout all of the load testing that we showed you today. Now, which desk is going to be great for you? It really just depends on your specific weight needs. Now, if you like this video, we're gonna be doing a ton of these on competing brands, products that we're gonna be competing against here directly with the VertDesk V3 products. So if you wanna make sure that you catch all those videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Thanks a lot for watching.